from the infamous director that brought you a movie that promotes anti-Semitism, a Mayan epic with decapitations, and a movie that predicted Scottish independence but then failed, comes a movie about an anti-gun pacifist turned medic, Hacksaw Ridge, about the story of Desmond Das. A conscientious objector who received the Congressional Medal of Honor for fighting on the Battle of the Okinawa during the Japanese front of the Second World War for the United States. Essentially, uh, the way I approached it was it was like saving Private Ryan. Both films are very graphic and gruesome, and both films have a very strong heart within itself. I personally like Hacksaw Ridge. I didn't have any intention of seeing it anytime soon, but I did hear from a friend of mine, he said, Oh, you should go see it. So I thought to give it a try. And needless to say, I enjoyed it quite well, even though I usually watch uh, well, well movies at home or on DVD. Um, needless to say, the performances are pretty good from Andrew Garfield and even Vince Vaughn, surprisingly. And therefore, he would do uh, a dramatic role himself. But I did see him in uh, one movie, I think, called Rudy. He was playing like a um, US footballer. And uh, that was dramatic as well. And uh, the choreography, the way they've done the graphic violence and the wild setting definitely makes it, yeah, it definitely pulls a punch. Um, if you don't like blood and guts, get out! <laughs> and um, firstly, I'm very happy to say that Mel Gibson uh, really does a good job with his movies, even with all the controversy and TMZ and his drunk driving and his racism. Um, I, you know, I can set that on for a side, just like I would with Jamie Clarkson, and enjoy, you know, a movie like Hacksaw Ridge. Um, it may not be as strong as Braveheart, but I thought it was better than Apocalypto, and Passion, the Christ. Um, the reason why I was doing that imitative voice was because I was trying to mimic, um, Desmond Doss's accent, uh, the way he's in the film. Andrew Garfield actually is a British actor, by the way, in case no one knew.